Hello everyone. Just now we have seen uh, Professor Sangal uh, talking about this basics of uh, stereological methods and then uh, he has also introduced a uh, couple of probes, how are you going to analyze the some of the spherical shapes or particle size and area measurements and point fraction and so on. What I am going to do is uh, I will just take the actual microstructure which is of this nature. This is uh, a microstructure of a cast iron. So, and we are going to use a probe of this nature which is of about uh, a grid of this. So, now what I will do is I will now demonstrate uh, using this probe how are we going to calculate the point fraction and then uh, how that is uh, related to area fraction that is PP and then again uh, the second uh, demonstration professor mentioned about how to measure the PL that is uh, which can be related to the average diameter of the particles of this microstructures. So, now let us go and uh, uh, do this uh, measurements. After that what I will do is I will come back to this uh, computer then I will open an excel sheet and take the data from each of the uh, scholars who are measuring it and then we will document it and then we will analyze it uh, one by one. Okay, now, let us uh, start measuring this uh, uh, the PP first. So, what I am doing is I am placing this probe on the microstructure in a random orientation. So, let us not put like this uh, try to key, keep a symmetric it should be random like this. So, I am just putting it like this. So, what is that first I have to do? I have to just count the number of grid points. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, about 36 grid points I have. So, so capital N is equal to 36. So, now I am just going to look at the number of intersections which is falling on this each one of this spherical particles. So, now let me start counting now 1 C the other important point you have to note down is the, the intersection point which is just touching this particle is counted as half. Okay. Even uh, the line which is uh, touching the periphery again again counted as half when you do a uh, diameter count, but then right now we are looking at the intersection point which falls on the uh, particle. So, let me start doing that. So, this is 1 half and then 2 and then 3 because 2 and half 4, 4 and half 5 and then 6. So, this small n for this count is 6. So, I will have P p is equal to n by small n by capital N that is 6 by 36. So, I will have for this measurement. So, now I will put this probe into different area of different random orientation like this. So, now let us start counting again. So, now this is 1, this is half, this is half 2 and then half 2 and half and then 3 and half, 4 and half again it goes like this and then this is about 4 and half right. So, 4.5 by 36. So, 
we will put one more uh, random measurements somewhere here and uh, again start counting this. Let us see what is that we get. So, now this P P I will start counting <coughs> 1, 2, 2 and half and then this is 3 and half and then 4 and half again. So, this is n by capital N is equal to 4 and half by 36. So, like that uh, what we can do is when we take the averages of all this P P, we will get the, the average point fraction like this what uh, professor has written. So, what I will do is I will collect this data from the entire class and put it in the excel sheet and before I go to that let me also now demonstrate how I am going to use uh, measure the PL, <coughs> a PL. So, again I will put this uh, grid into a random position and then I will start counting the intersection of the boundary of the particle. So, now what we will do assume is we will assume that the vertical lines are not there we will use only the horizontal lines and let it fall on this uh, microstructure. Let us look at the intersections. So, now I will start counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 and a half, 9, 9 and a half, 10 and 10 and half, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 and half, 16 and half, 17 and half, 18, 18 and half, 19, 20, 20 and half. Yes, it is 20 and half. Now, this is per unit length. So, that L you have to now calculate. So, how do you calculate the L? You, you know this for this micrograph, this length is about 20 micron. So, you put that uh, line here and then it is approximately 1 and then now it is 400 micron. So, it is approximately it is about 600 micron. So, one line is 600 micron, 600 micron. So, now we have used 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 lines you have used. So, it is 600 into 6 is equal to 3600 micron is a total length. So, this, so like that we will put 20.5 divided by micron. So, this is event 1. So, now I will do the event again another random orientation like this. So, the event 2 will start again I will put a start measuring. I will use uh, again one direction this uh, horizontal line not the vertical lines. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 and half, 13 and half, 14 and half, 15, 15 and half, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So, even 2 is 23 divided by 3600 micrometer. So, even 3 I will put now I will now measure randomly. So, now I am started counting this half 1 and half, 2 and half, 3 and half, 4 and half, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 and half, 10, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So, even 3 gives me 18 divided by 3600 micron meter. So, like that we will uh, take this and uh, you can calculate this average PL for the number of events. What now I will do is I will collect this data from the entire class. So, I will get uh, uh, the number of events is almost we have about uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 students. So, even if I collect 2 uh, measurement from each candidate, I will be able to uh, get close to 30 because I have 3, 29, maybe I will collect 3 from each one of them. So, I will get about 36 uh, even measurements, then I will put it into an Excel. 